Very excited today uh, to celebrate with all of you our 15 years in Yonkers right now, which is just amazing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Ed, come on up here. Come on, Ed. Come on, Ed. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, and Chris, where's Chris? Um, and Doug. Uh, but, but you know what's nice is, uh, like in a, about a week or two, we're going to be doing our Hay Bale Theaters up here. So it's going to be, uh, we're going to have movies and all that. We changed the venue with a different cast of characters tonight. But um, we'd like to really thank everybody in Yonkers. We have the mayor, we have all the dignitaries. Um, and what's exciting is I was just looking at some pictures back 15 years ago. And we were never going to open a store in New York. We never had any visions of doing that. And then we get a call one day from the mayor of Yonkers. And I picked the phone up and I was like, you're not really the mayor of Yonkers. And he said, yes, I am. And that was John Spencer, who came up with his wife, Kathy, now, and, um, and also Phil Amicone. And they came up and visited our store and convinced us to come down here to Yonkers. And I remember we then met with Ed Sheeran and, and um, Ed back there from the county, and he brought all Stu Leonard's products to our meeting down in New York, which I thought was cool. <laughs> and um, since that day, John had always said, Yonkers will be your number one store, and guess what? <laughs> yeah, Yonkers. <laughs> and, you know, we, we figured it out, but since this whole thing opened and the, and the city and county opened us up, in the last 15 years, there's been over 100 million people that have come up to this location up here on the hill. So that's pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, and one of the things that our family, and I have my sister Beth and Jill and my nephews uh, Will and Andrew, and of course my wife Kim right here, we're all, <laughs> can't forget that. And uh, one thing, it's one thing, but we can't do it without a great group of people, and that was another thing Yonkers has offered us over the years, is great people. We have... Um, over 500 people working here, and Ellen, I think you told me there's about 400 that live in the city of Yonkers. Yeah. And um, we have great, um, what, what is the average pay, you said? Per, yeah, $25 an hour for, on average for everybody. Um, and we have great, great benefits, and, and uh, we, we have a great group of people that, that help our family out delivering uh, fresh food and, and a nice experience for you. So we want to say thank you from the bottom of our heart. And you guys, one thing we've learned in Yonkers, we looked over everything we sold the last 15 years. You love big, thick steaks. <laughs> you, you, you've eaten an average of one a week for everybody that lives in Yonkers, all 200,000. You love lobsters. <laughs> you average a lobster a week. But it's trumped by one thing, and that's we averaged about two bottles of wine a week for everybody. Here <laughs> so we know a lot about the Yonkers uh, customers up here. Hey, and I want to thank you. I want to thank the mayor. And if the mayor would like to, like to, your mayor Spano has been a great supporter. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. You know, I, I remember working with the previous administration when we were trying to get this site developed and working with then the governor, uh, our, obviously the mayor, our city council, and members of the state delegation, and we were able to, to secure enough money for this to happen. And you know why? It's so true. Uh, this was destined to be their number one store. And as mayor, I realized that it's not hard to sell Yonkers. It really isn't. You need to just come here. And when you come here, you know it's a great place to live, work, raise a family. That's what Yonkers is all about. And that's why this store is successful. So I want to say to Stu and to your family, thank you for your investment. Uh, to, uh, to members uh, of, the, of the elected bodies that are here with us today, uh, thank you for your hard work. But to all of you who work here each and every day, who put that smile on your face and make all of us here in Yonkers proud. A special thank you. And on behalf of all the people of Yonkers, on your 15th anniversary, we have declared today Stu Leonard Day here in the city of Yonkers. Thank you very much. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
We're also joined here come on. by, and I want to ask him to come up and say a few words. He's our council president, Liam McLaughlin. He'll also introduce the city council, Liam McLaughlin. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Hey, how's that? <laughs> Well, Stu is obviously uh, not just the head of this organization, but he has become one of the biggest cheerleaders for the city of Yonkers. And Stu, we can't thank you enough for that. Uh, we thank you so much for coming here uh, and, and can't believe it's 15 years. I mean, it seems in a way like it was just yesterday, uh, but from another perspective, it has been 15 great years. Uh, to all the people who work here, thank you. Uh, thank you for all that you do, because Stu's has become so much more uh, than just a store to pick up, you know, all, all your, your fresh goods, your food, your this, your that. It's become part of tradition in so many of our lives, whether it's uh, the, the filet mignon at Easter time or the turkeys at Thanksgiving or a, a personal favorite in my house is uh, our tradition of coming here at Christmas time. And myself and my son, we pick out our Christmas tree. And when I tell you, Stu, and I've told you this before, but the people here are absolutely amazing. When it comes to the work that they do but the, and the traditions and what you do, the way you go out of your way to treat every customer, and it makes that, that special event even more special. And I was just telling a quick story. My son, when he was just a little guy, when he was about three, I think was the first time I brought him here to get our Christmas tree. And, uh, and I said to one of the guys, I said, do me a favor. Just please put a little string in the window and make him think he's holding the tree onto the roof. And the guy said, without a doubt, he made a whole big fuss. He took, he was shooting. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's absolutely true, and we come here every year uh, for our Christmas tree. It's become a big tradition in the McLaughlin household. So I say thank you, Stu, to you and to all of your people for making uh, this so much more than just a store. And congratulations on your 15 years. Yes, if I could, I just... I'm sorry, go ahead. Sir. I also have a quick job of introducing uh, my colleagues on the city council. Uh, Michael Sabatino, uh, the minority leader of the city council. We have Mike Breen, council member from the uh, 5th district. I see Senator Andre Stewart-Cousins has just joined us. Senator, please come on up. Come on up. Come on. And yes, where is Assemblywoman Shelley Mayer? Where are you, Shelley? I'm sorry, I couldn't see you back there. He's also here with us today. Okay. Megan, how we doing? <laughs> hey, but anyway, excuse me? Oh yeah, and of course, you know, of course, Bill Mooney, who, who was city attorney up here, and uh, when we first opened up here, and we worked a lot, and, and, he, and he was just great to work with. Thank first you. lawyer that I think we ever really liked, <laughs> Bill Mooney. <laughs> Thank you, Stu. Sorry, Al. <laughs> Thanks, Stu. My name is Bill Mooney, as you mentioned. I currently am the uh, director of the Office of Economic Development for Rob Astorino in Westchester County. So uh, the county executive couldn't be here today, but it is my privilege when, they, when Rob asked me to come down, because as Stu mentioned, um, I was a city attorney. And with a, a huge cabal of these people, Mayor Spencer, Liam, Al, Mayor Spano, uh, then Assemblyman Spano at the time, we fought so long and hard to get where this is. And I can't agree more with the mayor and Liam about what a wonderful testament this is to all of you and Stu and your entire family. I'm so proud to be here uh, on behalf of Rob and all of Westchester County. This is such a demonstration of economic development, of jobs, but most importantly it's a commitment to family and to the community and to your employees and that's what Stu and Stu Leonard's exemplify. So on behalf of Westchester County and Rob Astorino, I want to say and myself, I'm with Liam, we got our pumpkins here, we got our Christmas trees here, and I'd like to uh, thank you and apologize for contributing to that steak and wine you know, uh, pile. I think I'm a good number in there. And not to out outdo the mayor, but on behalf of County Executive Astorino, I'd like to just have a proclamation here which says, as you gather with local officials, customers, employees to celebrate your 15th anniversary of Stu Leonard's Yonkers location, the Leonard family is truly deserving of our reverence and appreciation for bringing their remarkable family business to Yonkers and Westchester County, New York. So, I therefore, Robert Astorino, County Executive, declare October 2nd to be Stu Leonard's Recognition Day in Westchester County. <laughs> There's one person that um, my cousin Tom Arthur uh, started this store, and, and it's 
it's an emotional thing for me. He was, he loved this. This was his baby up here. And, um, and it, uh, it's sad really to be here without him today, but we're thinking of him right now. He's here in spirit. Um, but anyway, one fella I just want to thank who just came up on his anniversary just at the same time. I'd like to give an award for 30 years he's been at the store and taken over and done a great job up here. Fred Salvino. <laughs> okay. Come on. Okay. We got it right here. Here we go. Here we all, all of us in here. All right. Okay, we're, we're finished and we want to thank everybody so much for coming and uh, we hope for another more than 15 years here in, in Yonkers and, and um, thanks, thanks to everybody and thanks to all our team members for being here today too.